so the next component that we'll be looking at will be the image list so what is an image list so as per the name suggests the image list is used to display the collection of images in a group and the image list component is used to display the list of multiple images in a group and it can be used to showcase a product with different images in a website and it can also be used to add a gallery inside the image like the pinterest website so this is the image list and then it has the child components to add the full layout of the image list and the image list is a parent component or you can say a container which has child component which is the image list item to add the items inside the image list and the child item is also like a container which adds the html image tag inside that to add stylings into that tag only so this is a relation between the image list and the image item tag and then we can see the properties as well so we have the variant property and about the variant property we have multiple variants of predefined styles that are available that we can use and then after that we have some columns to add the columns of how many images we want to say in a column onto the web page so these are the properties and then we can see some additional properties also we can have a gap property and the gap is used to add some gap in the images and it accepts the value inside the pixels so we can just define five pixels six pixels and then we can have the sx prop as well to define some more stylings into the image list component so now we can just move on to the material ui website to see about the image list so now we have the image list and the image list displays the collection of images in an organized grid and then you can see we have some variants of the image list now you can see we have the standard image list and now you can see this is the image list and the columns are three so we can see the code of that also so like now you can see the image list we have some sx prop for the styling and then we have defined the column and then we have defined the row height as well so the row height is the height of that row and then after that we have the item data which is an array and this array contains the title oh, and the url of the image as well so we can just map through that array and after that we have the child component as the image list item and inside that we have the html image tag and inside that image tag we can have the source we can have the source set also and then we can have the old and then we can have the lazy loading also so this is the image list that we can use and in the quilted images we have the three images on one side of the grid and then we have only single image which covers the full area of all three images in that grid only and then we have more stylings as well we have the woven image list to add some more stylings into this image list as well and this style is also looking good so you can just showcase your product inside this style as well and then we have more styles like now you can say we have masonry image list which we can use which also have different styles and then we can even have some titles onto that images as well like now you can see we have the camera we can have the coffee so we can have some title as well inside the images so we can see the code of the title as well so now like you can see now we have the list subheader that we can use inside that and after that we have the list item bar image list item bar that we can use to add some title inside the image as well so this is about the image list and now you can see we have some more styles we have the title bar below the image which has the standard variants so this is all about the image list that we can use and now we can see the api of the image list as well so we can just move that now you can see we have some more props like the children node we can specify we can specify columns we can specify the component as well we can specify the gaps and the gaps accept the number in pixels and then we can have the row height which can be a number or we can have the auto as well and then we can have sx and the variant so these are the multiple variants that we have seen which is the masonry we have the quilted we have the standard we have the woven and then we can have the string as well on the variant so this is all about the image list so now we can just move on to the visual studio code to demo the image list and now we can just test the image list here so we can just import the image list from the material ui so to the image list and after that we can just use here the image list so inside this box then we can have the image list container inside that and after that then we can just define some styles as well to the image list like we can define the sx prop to define the styles so we can have a width of the image list as well and the width can be the 400 and then we can have the height as well for the image and then the height can be the 400 as well so now we have defined the sx and then we can have just defined the columns as well to the image so i want only three columns into that into the image so now we can see now we have defined the image list and now we need to add the image list item and the images onto that so we can just move on to the material ui and now you can see we have the array of the images so now instead of defining the array here inside our code so we can just use their array as well so we can just copy their array and then we can just copy that and then we can just move on and then we can just declare the array before the component rendering function so now we have defined the item data and after that now we can just set the images here so we can have the item data array here and then we can just loop through that array to add all of the images so we can have a map 
and after the map we can just have a callback function and inside that callback we can have the item or we can have the image and then we can have the index as well inside the image to add some key and after that we can just have here the component and inside that we have the image list item component that we can use which is a child item and inside that we can just define the key prop and then key will be cost to the index and after that we can just use the html image tag to add the image and after that we can just define the source inside the html image tag and the source will be equals to that we have the image dot the url of the image so we can have the image dot url inside the source so we have the image dot img so we can just get the img and we can just have the alt prop as well and the alt will also be equals to the image dot and it would be the author of the image so we can have the title and after that we can just divide the loading as well equals to the lazy to add the lazy load to the images so we can have the loading which will be equals to the lazy so if i will now just save and if i will now just move on to the application to see if it works or not now you can see we have the lazy load of the images all of the images are loaded and now we can see the images onto the website so this is the image list component that we can use and after that we can just change the variant as well of the image list so we can have the variant and then we can see the styles of the variant as well so we can just hover over there now you can see we can have the masonry so we can just test that so if i will now save so now you will see after that we'll be having different variant onto the web page so now you can see the variant is now changed and now you can see this image is little bigger and this image is smaller so now we can see the variants as well so and, and after that we can just check the quilted variant as well so we can just add a quilted so if i will now save so now we will see the different variant onto the web page so now you can see this is a quilted variant so we can just refresh the page for that now you can see this is a quilted variant that we can use and after that we can have the woven variant as well to use so we have the woven so if i will now just save if i will now move on to the application we can refresh the page again now you can see this is a woven and now this is also looking good so this is about the image list that we can use inside the material ui and then we can add some bars onto the images as well that we have seen so we can have the bars and now you can see this is the image list item bar so we can just get that so we can just copy and then we can just have here the bar so there after the image so we can have the bar and we can just import that also so now it is imported and now we can just add here the item it would be the image and it would be dot title and after that we can just change the variant as well for the standard so we can have the standard here and we have defined the titles so we can have the subtitle as well for that so we can have the subtitle and the subtitle will be equals to and we can just add here the span tag of the html as we can see here as well so we have the span tag of the html so we can just use that it will be the span and after the span then we can just use the, the item to author so for the author we can just define the author as the michael so if i will now save so if i will now just move on to the application to see if everything works fine or not so we can just move on to the react app so we can just refresh the page now you can see the image list is here and now you can see the image list is also looking good so this is about the image list component inside the material ui that we can use